They always start awkwardly and then we just <laughs> go. Lindy just told us to be quiet. And she's been saying it's morning. Lindy's been saying it's morning. Oh. And everybody thinks it's morning. It's not. It's, it's afternoon. It's like it's ticking. Two. We're ticking. One thirty. We're ticking. ticking for a long time today. That's fair. Yep. So she's gonna nap. We'll see everyone mm. tomorrow. Hey, they're bringing me coffee. <laughs> and then you're napping. <laughs> and right, because that works. Okay, so we we're just kind of thinking about what we we're going to talk about. <laughs> so the past two, for sure two weeks, for maybe sure. even three weeks, everybody has been coming in with a scratchy, oh. scratchy, oh. that's crotchety <laughs> and scratchy when you get the scratchy. I was say, we better not <laughs> break that word down. <laughs> Scratchy, irritated throats, <laughs> dragging behind, everybody is worn out, and they're asking, what can we do to be... Holy, need mm. me to take the mic? Mm. You talk for What a while. do... They're asking us what else they can do to be healthier, to not get laid up for a week or two or four, and you know, by the way, back in the day, I, was, I maybe... I maybe chopped with a little bit more eagle because <laughs> I didn't actually think that people that got adjusted got, got sick. sick. What? Until I got really sick six years ago going through some stressful ickies for like three or four weeks I was down. Down. And then I'm like, you know, this was the hard lesson <laughs> that you had to experience to yes. get in and understand. So even though people get regularly adjusted, I mean, even... A lot more than regular two three yeah. times, times a week, week. if yeah. other parts of your life are imbalanced the sick means something different likely than just a germ right, right. so I don't want to talk about germs yet so we might get off on a tangent that's gonna happen this <laughs> always happens on Wednesdays it always does it's awesome you know we're in a different <laughs> room so patients don't hear us we don't actually have a time to stop oh yeah we've got till two o'clock you guys could be <laughs> stuck with us for a long time a long time but anyway, yes, we have a mute. Well, it's major immune system issues. Yeah. Daycares, schools, and then the kids. I do this a lot, don't I? Yeah, the I kids. didn't know what this was applying to when you said kids. They're actual kids. They're, so they are. They're no quote, but kids quote bring kids. it home to the parents. Ah, it's spreading not it further. Really about that. It's more about your immune system being as strong as it can be. Right. Not about the. I'm gonna go there. The germ attacking that. It's not the germs issue. It's like if there's a bucket of garbage or a dumpster of garbage. It's not the fly's fault. It's not the garbage. Right. It's not the germ that causes it. It is your body's inability to handle the germ, the yes. bacteria, the virus, whatever. Yes. I would say I had a similar mindset that, oh, if I got adjusted regularly several times a week and was doing my due diligence there that Oh, I would be tip top shape yeah. all the time. I even had a little bit of the scratchity throat last week, I noticed <laughs> it. But that was all that it progressed to. Right. It was just the scratchy throat. Right. I like I had energy, I was I felt fine. Just yep. throat So it's telling you garbage. something, right? Exactly. And it then goes into most of the time we don't listen to our body. You mm -hmm. folk might be relying on us to have all the answers. Right? We don't. Hey doc. Why does my immune system suck right now? Or fix me, doc. I'm sick. Mm. We can't. You have to do the leg work. Can you see that? What? I don't know. If that X plus. Oh, <laughs> well then turn it. I did with the shadows. Oh, from your angle, shadows. this turn. From mine, it was a plus sign. I didn't know. <laughs> X. Don't time. bring that crap to us. Right. Right. <laughs> come by all means if you are feeling junky and down. Yes, come see us. But don't. Don't expect that you get adjusted and tomorrow you're going to wake up and your drainage is gone and you're going to feel like a million dollars. That's not how the body works. And we wouldn't want it to work that way because that's a pill. That's here's something and you get the effects a couple hours later. Mm -hmm. What we are talking about, what we promote, embrace, preach, teach, love is that your body works for itself and an adjustment helps it do that. So, so would you would you say? I think we should do interview sessions. Now, would, 
yeah, as I say, this is a little bit of an improv. I didn't prepare anything. I didn't. I didn't Google my answers before. I'm what you say? I'm sweating now. What you say though? And I do this really well. Put you on the spot. Bam. All the time. Okay. Would you say though that somebody that gets adjusted regularly is healthier in how they express life than somebody who doesn't? Oh, far and one hundred and ninety nine percent. Yes. Yeah. I'd tip it to two hundred even. What does that mean? <laughs> you said 199. I know, but what does 200 mean? What does 199 mean? I don't know. <laughs> it just sounds it, better than 100. It does sound better than 100. <laughs> what we're saying is, well, maybe that's too far to say that those who get adjusted regularly and take care of themselves are healthier, but no, no. that's not too far. That's, 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 that's the fair. truth of it. That is what we, that is how we, we talk, that is what we do. It's not something that we just tell you willy nilly and then don't do it ourselves. Right. We get adjusted regularly. We're strict. We're strictening it up. Strictening. Strictly. Wow. That's a word. And and <laughs> and yeah. It hasn't been morning in my mind, but maybe it is morning in my mind. Mm-hmm. Yes, we, we we get adjusted at least one time a week by each other. Mm-hmm. Two or three times sometimes. When things. When mm-hmm. there's stressy Susans in the way. Or when things are ticking, or you know, we hug and kiss on hundreds of people every day. That I mean, most people would really wonder why we're not sick, right? Because if it's the germ, folks, we would be sick, right? We are exposed to nasty stuff all the time, which it makes total sense if you think about it. If you're gonna go that route and say the germ caused me to get sick, okay, well then. All 150 people that you come in contact to since you've had the germ, why aren't they all sick? Yep. If the germ caused that, no, there's something more going on in your body that you are expressing sore throat, the drainage, the headaches, the lack of energy. There's something else going on. Mm-hmm. It is not lower just... than awesome. You feel lower yeah. than awesome. Yeah. Well, most people don't feel awesome. They don't know what that means. Right. But I think of daycare. Mm-hmm. And the blame that a family puts on daycare being the issue, your child more than likely is the one that always is it's sick. Like, and so if you look around the room and you see some kids that aren't snotty and croupy and cough and tired and they have bags under their eyes when they're two, <laughs> like here's your sign. That's what not are you the doing? Germ. Yeah, what are you doing or not doing? Right. Mm-hmm. We, we need to... We need to investigate a little bit. Number one, nervous system needs to be clear, free, aligned, and flowing. Right. Brain, body, all that needs to be working correctly.